Hey there everyone, this is Matt for Crave Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to wash a couple of Nike NFL jerseys. We have two versions of it. We have the game jersey which is screen printed. There is nothing sewn in, nothing stitched really except for um, you know the different pieces of fabric. As you can see, like screen printed here, screen printed here, uh, the only thing that's really stitched is the rubber logo for it. Now we have a limited jersey, which is the mid-range jersey, where you have stitched numbers. You have the fly wire, stitched numbers on the side too. You have sewn in Nike symbols here. They're completely sewn in. This is how you tell it if it's a fake or uh, an authentic one, totally stitched in. You won't find stitching on the outside of a little patch there. And on the back, as you can see, numbers are stitched in. Everything here. All right, so the washing is pretty simple. You first start by turning these inside out. Like so. Do the other one now too. All right, so both are inside out now. You know, the reason why I'm washing this is because I wore deodorant and there are some deodorant marks on the inside here. And fortunately some deodorant marks came on the outside of the jersey at the bottom, which I just want to clean off. And um, yeah, that's what I want to get rid of. So you take both jerseys. Now remember when you clean any jersey or washing your jersey, wash it with light colors or wash it by itself. But since we have two, both Redskins jerseys, both are gonna be burgundy, we can wash these together. But remember again, they will, you know, give color out and take color, so you don't wanna ruin these in any way. All right, so we're gonna pick up the camera, we're gonna take this over here. And here we have our washing machine. I'm not sure if this is what yours looks like at home but what you want to select is delicates or hand washables. And you want to make sure, I'm going to put this inside here. Now just in case, I'm going to put a color catcher. Just one sheet's necessary. Inside there. Alright, so we have both together. Remember to set this to delicate or hand washable. And that setting will put this on a cold temperature, cold water temperature, low spin speed, and uh, this is just saying how loud it's gonna be when it's done. That means there's gonna be no heat going through this, it's not gonna shrink up, and it's not gonna tear away the uh, either the stitching or the screen printed um, you know, portion of the jersey. All right, so wherever you put your uh, detergent in, you're going to put that right here, and I want to make this clear before I move on at all. You do not put any softener on this whatsoever. Let's put the camera here for a sec while I load this up. You do not put any softener in it because it will hurt the jersey material and the numbering, stitched or screen printed. All right, so I'm just putting this in here, putting it in one, because I'm only putting two jerseys inside. Again, make sure you don't put any softener. Tighten them back up. All right, now we put it in. And I'm going to hold the start. That's just how the machine works. But remember, cold, no warm, and cold, no warm, warm, no, definitely no hot, and low spin. You want to be as low as possible. Now, what I'm going to show you after this is done is you really don't want to put it in the dryer at all. If you do dry it, dry it on a delicate cycle and put it air only with a uh, very slow spin. Otherwise, or actually what you should actually do is hang it up, which I'm going to do here, and just let it air dry because that is the best way to care for these jerseys. You want to put them through the littlest trauma as possible so they last you for a very long time. Because these Nike jerseys are, you know, they're lightweight and I'd say they're a little bit more sensitive than the Reeboks used to be. 
but that's just how you treat them. When this is done, I'll bring them back out and I'll show you just how to hang them back up. All right, the beeper just went off. We're gonna take the jerseys out here and what you wanna do is take them out as soon as you can from the machine so they don't wrinkle up or you know do anything bad. So I'm gonna set this up here. Um, you're not gonna be able to see what I'm be doing until I put the jerseys on the racks, but I'm taking them outside, handling them carefully, turning them right side out once more. All right, we have our first jersey, and what I suggest to do is put them on a hanger with a wide uh, shoulder. It just pre helps prevent creasing, which if you're going to keep this for a while, is something that you want to prevent. So we hang this first one up here. That's the uh, limited jersey. I'm going to turn this one right side out and do the very same and I'll say again I suggest a hanger with a wide shoulder and basically what you have to do now is play the waiting game and let them air dry until completely dry but like I said if you can't wait that long or don't want to wait that long you can put it in the dryer but it with a very low spin, air only. That way you won't let your jerseys uh, destroy themselves while in the machine. All right, this has been Matt and what we've been doing is we've been washing and properly drying two Nike NFL jerseys. One is the mid-range limited and one is the low-end game jersey. If you have any questions, let me know. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Blogger. Let us know what you like and what you don't like. And I'll see you guys next time.